Welcome to the Frenzy. And folks, it's week 17, and it's make or break week. All right, in the NFC, we know who's coming to dinner, but we just don't know where they're going to be sitting. In the AFC, we got seven teams fighting for the last two playoff spots. I mean, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. We just need to get hyped and get ready for week 17, baby. Can you feel it? Joe, that ain't good enough. Come on, Joe. Ah, thank you, baby. Thank you. Make your blood come from my damn mouth. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You got to make blood come to the mouth. You can't just smack me. Ain't no hit me hard. This boy's When you hit him, motherfucker, you hit that motherfucker. Let's kick their ass, motherfucker. Kick their ass. The Bears pulled the biggest shocker of the year. After a stunning upset against the Bikes, look for them to win big over the Lions. But let's give props to the Lions. They are no longer as bad as they once were. The Bucks aren't that bad either. After a nice win over the Saints, look for them to give Matty and the Falcons trouble and earn a final win for the season. The Patriots clinched the AFC East with a stunning win over the Jaguars. They can take the week off before next week's wildcard game, but I see their second string shutting out the Texans' playoffs hope with a win. This is to the new Panthers quarterback, Matt Moore, who's probably going to take over the new starting role. Moore, I know as a young kid, you have a lot of things on your mind, and probably one of the big things you have or endorsements. But heed my warning. If Bojangles comes to you asking to do a chicken commercial, say no. Wait for something better. I mean, you got Bank of America, Wachovia. Hell, I would hold up for a McDonald's commercial. Remember, Matt Moore, don't ask anybody to show you the chicken. The Saints, with that bike's loss, clinched the NFC home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So give me the Panthers to beat up on the Saints in what could possibly be a toss-away game. The Chargers are looking hot, hot, hot. I'll take them over the skins. The Titans have come back from a rough start and have made some noise for a wildcard berth. While I see them coming up short in terms of the wildcard, they'll get a good win over the Seahawks. The Packers and the Cardinals are probably going to play each other this week and then Wild Card Weekend, barring any other big development in the NFC playoff picture. So give me the Packers to take it hard to the Cardinals, who are probably resting up the old fogies in the house. Maybe the biggest disappointment of the league. No, not them. Not them. Well, I mean, they're not really a disappointment. Yeah, they're a big disappointment. But maybe the biggest disappointer of the league have been the Broncos. They started off with a nice winning streak, but then they got lost in the shuffle. While they are in the wild card hunt, they'll still need some help to get back on top. But I just don't see it happening. But I do see them taking out the Chiefs one more time. Finally, time has come. It's time to reveal the winner to the road to Tebow. Uh, we start off with four teams in desperate need of a great quarterback in Tim Tebow. And now we're only down to just two teams. The St. Louis Rams and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let me reinstate what the winner gets. The winner of the road to Tebow will get the phone number of Tim Tebow's agent that I swiped from a local Gainesville Applebee's. Plus they'll have the first dibs to pay him a ridiculous amount of money to sit on the bench for the first season. Now, if he gets to the St. Louis Rams, he's going to play immediately. The loser won't leave empty-handed. Faye will get the first round pick of Nebraska's defensive end, Nakadum S. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner for the first dibs of Tim Tebow's professional career is... It's a shocker! The Jacksonville Jaguars! They won Tebo! They got Tebo! Now I know Rams that you're probably feeling dejected right now, but don't worry. Come this offseason, there'll be a new road that you'll have to contend with. The Jaguars 
Jaguars still have a shot at the wild card berth too. I'll take them defeating the much improved Cleveland Browns. As for the Rams, they'll finish the year 1 and 15 with a loss against the 49ers. And let it be known, if you're bad, you're Rams bad. Oh, and there's no longer any undefeated. The Colts got upset by the Jets. I would be okay with it, but the Colts took out all of their starters just as the Jets were starting to come back. I mean, you're the perfect team. You're undefeated. You gotta keep playing for the win. You gotta play for the undefeated streak. What would it be like if I just all of a sudden just decided to have a replacement come in to do my next pick? And with this week's pick, I picked the Bills over the Colts. No, it's the Colts over the Bills. Colts over the mother Bills. How many mother times must we do this? Cut, cut. The defending Super Bowl champions are finally coming together. Unfortunately, it's at the wrong time. While they have a good shot of getting in, I think we might have to finally pack up a terrible towel for it this year. But they will finish strong with a good win over the Dolphins. Brett Favre and the Vikings have all but destroyed their chances of getting the first round by in the NFC playoffs. But they can still hope for the best. But it'll all start by finally finishing the regular season with a nice win over Eli Manning and the Giants. Well, I guess by virtue, uh, since the Redskins did get shut out by the Cowboys, they do get the final Benny Hill treatment for the regular season. Now, the Cowboys and the Eagles set themselves up for what's going to be one of the biggest divisional battles. The winner gets the NFC East. Now, I know that the Cowboys are doing good right now, but let me take you to last year, where the Eagles had to beat the Cowboys to make it to the playoffs. And not only did they beat the Cowboys, they took them to the woodshed for a lesson they never forget. There have been trips made by Romo down to Mexico. There have been trips to the psych ward by big old T.O. There have been trips made by Jerry on his private jet. Now there's a trip to the woodshed they'll never forget. They bumbled and fumbled the playoffs away. Now they get to sit home and watch Philly go play. Gave Dallas a Christmas regret With a trip to the woodshed they'll never forget The Eagles are the hot team right now and will clinch the NFC East title by going into Cowboys Stadium and destroying the Cowboys. The Ravens control their own destiny to a wild card berth. But if anything, the Raiders have managed to beat some of the best teams in the league, like the Steelers and the Bengals. But I see the Ravens playing hard and punching their ticket in with a nice win over the Raiders. While the Giants couldn't do it against the Panthers last week, the Jets will have the opportunity to win their final game in Giants Stadium and clinch the fifth seed in the playoffs with a nice upset win over the Bengals. And those are my picks for Week 17. Next week, I'll try to do better, especially since it's the playoffs. Subscribe to get to the jump on next week's episode. Thank you for watching, and remember... My picks are so good, you could take them to the bank! But I wouldn't advise you. But I would also advise you having a happy new year.